Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope uh, you have a good time today with us. And today our video uh, is supposed to be short. I just saw a notification from YouTube and uh, you know, uh, liberal TV stations, they always, uh, you know, uh, put in the front of them, uh, whoever support them. <clears throat> so there's a guy supposedly he's a famous in England and I don't know what is making him famous, except he is a liar. And uh, see uh, NBC, C, whatever it is the channel name. Uh, in this short video, I'm not going to play the video, but I'm going to show you what he said. So this is MSNBC channel short video. As you see, I'm trying to show the credit for them. I will not play the video because I know that they are covered and they still they flag your videos even if you use it for fair use. So this potato. In his video, he said that Republican, they have a culture war. They cannot. Republican, they have a culture war. You know, here I find it's very funny how a Muslim who is following a prophet of Allah, who believe that Muslim, they should force their culture over everybody. They are speaking about culture wars. And what is the Republican culture war is? He said, the Republican, they want to ban abortion. Will look like in his country, Pakistan, they allow abortion, brother. Look like in Saudi Arabia, they allow abortion, brother. How come in all Islamic countries, you don't allow abortion, you coward, you liar? And if you are a person who speak against culture war, and you are coming from Pakistan, how come you don't shout out against your Muslim religion who ban everybody? And not only that, he said the culture war of the uh, Republican, uh, they ban migrant. Since when? I am a migrant. They ban nobody. You are a liar and you are a coward. I am not only a migrant or immigrant. I am an Arab. So you are a liar. There is tens of thousands enter the borders every day in USA. How much immigrant Islamic countries they take every day? None. So those Muslims, they try to school us about how to live and how to die, but they themselves, they don't follow one thing of what they claim. In fact, your prophet, he is the one who did ethnic cleansing. Isn't it your prophet who he said? And let us show in the screen here what your prophet said. <laughs> Banning immigrant? For 1400 years, Christians and Jews are not allowed to go back to their homeland. Because remember, even in the time of Muhammad, there was Jews living in Yathrib and the city of Medina, which is considered as a holy city for the Muslims. It is nothing but a Jewish city. Muhammad, he said, if I am victorious, if I become victorious, I will certainly expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. So are you going to open your borders in Saudi Arabia? for Mexican immigrant who they are not Muslims. You don't even accept Muslims. Not long time ago, Pakistan and Malaysia, they kicked out the, the, the Muslim immigrant or migrant from Myanmar. Is that true? <laughs> And the funny is, everybody go against this country because supposedly they are discriminating Muslims. But then we find that Muslims, they kick out their Muslims refugee. And this is Muhammad. He is a practicing cleansing, ethnic cleansing, religion, religious cleansing, killing every single Jew, every single Christian in the Arabian Peninsula. Can this coward dare to say my prophet was wrong and this should not happen? He will not because he's a coward. This person, he said, 
We spoke about banning migra immigrant. Let us see another another thing he said. Banning abortion. A Muslim is defending abortion. What is the penalty of abortion in your country, Pakistan? Mr. Mahdi. So Muslims today, because they side always with the one who give them power, they are power seekers, they have no dignity, they have no, they are not genuine, you know, they, if you ask him, do you allow your wife or your sister to do abortion? I assure you, he will use all kind of violence against her if she do so. In fact, according to the Quran, the one who do abortion, his penalty is death. If we go right now and search what the penalty of abortion in Pakistan, Pakistan, they will show or they will they will quote for you the verses from the Quran that the punish the punishment of those who cause mischievement in the land. This is not my website. This is the flag of Pakistan. And the, and the one who wrote it is a Pakistani. You see the one who wrote it is a Pakistani. Shafat Salim. He is going to Shafat Allah to you. Abortion law in Islamic Republic of Pakistan. What Pakistan say about abortion law the one who do mischievement or he killed a human being we should kill him not to forget they kill gays and lesbian and you know <laughs> but they should kill him so here at the end in the end like in the best scenario if you do abortion they are showing you the law and the number of the law which they follow it's called the crime of isqat al haml i mean this is stupid country they still use in Arabic words in the language they don't speak. I mean, don't you have your own language? Isqatul Haml. <laughs> this is Arabic. Termination of etc. And then they say, in the case of other, uh, uh, in any case, otherwise abortion can lead into imprimis, uh, like uh, to go to jail up to three years or even more. For three years or even more. This is the punishment of Pakistani government. In Saudi Arabia, the punishment can go up to execution. But those people, they school us. About how to live, but they themselves, they will not accept to practice that. And then this potato, he said, it turned out that screaming at the school board, it doesn't work out. Screaming at school board meeting, it doesn't work. But the news say, this is just now, I mean, just two weeks ago, that Muslim, they gather in Michigan against LGBT, LGBT books. In the, you know, I saw the video actually, I'm not going to play it because you know the as again they are covered and they will flag your video. We are just being careful to you know to uh, not to give them a chance to do so. In this meeting, the Muslim they were discussing how those books are teaching about dating website or apps in their phone to have casual sex, teaching youth. To have casual sex and the funny is he says you want to teach this to kids but can Mahdi the scoward say and he condemned his prophet himself having sex with kids so if your prophet was exist he would be the first one to join that app because his wife Aisha she was six years old but in one hand he says that those people who have hatred to LGBT they have what Hatred to LGBT. It turned out that their war, culture war, is not working. It 
It's not working. Can you believe it? And why he is saying that? He is claiming that Republicans are not normal people and now this midterm election, the Democrat, they taught us a lesson. But this fool, he did not notice that in this midterm election, we won. We did not lose, you stupid idiot. He is so happy that Democrat, they won, supposedly. But reality is the opposite. It is us who is the winner. But we were expecting to win way more. If we go right now and we check the election result, what we will see? Shall we do it? Here we go. This is the election result. Those potatoes, they are just going by the news. We won, we won. No, you did not win. You lost horribly. This is the senator's numbers. Two. This is the house, sorry. This is senators. They are 48. We are 49. And now soon we have Alaska is going to report and we will have two more Senate. That will make us 51. And soon we will have another election in Georgia because the both of them, they were almost equal. So they will run another election a few weeks from now. And if we won that, that will make us in control totally already in the senators. What about the Congress? Right now, we are 217. The Democrats, they are 206. We need one more seat and we will be the majority. And guess what? Not only one seat, we have more we are going to have at least between four to five. In fact, in California alone, we have more seats coming soon. So this potato, as you see, those are reporting. You see the one in pink? That's mean they are coming to Republican. Those are not coming yet. They will call them soon. So we have one seat. We have two seat. Three seat. I'm not sure if, yeah, three seat. That's more than enough. Three seat, all what we need is one seat. This is only in California. Still, there's more reporters coming from other states like Colorado. So this potato, he think, because he listened too much to CNN news, he think that we lost the election. We did not. But we were expecting a massive win, not just a win. Those are stupid people, they are like a hyena. They feed on the dead body. And they thought now that Republicans are dead body. You know, when Trump, he lost the election, if we can call it lost, Erdogan, he sent a letter to the White House saying that, thank God, finally, we are done with the culture of the KKK. But when Trump was in the office, Erdogan was kissing his ass. <laughs> Do you see how hypocrite? Whoever is the winner, they go and kiss his ass. Who is the one who was in the pocket of, the, of Trump? It was, they brought for him 65 Muslim leader and king in Saudi Arabia. When Joe Biden went there, Nobody meet him. Even the king did not go out of the door. But when Trump, he went to Saudi Arabia, big festival, and they brought 65 Muslim king and leader kissing the ass of Donald Trump. Hypocrite. They are against gay and lesbian, but yet in speeches for a pertex, they say we support them. What the prophet he said about gays and lesbian? Do this man dare to say, my prophet is filthy and this culture war should be stopped? Hmm? Do he dare to say that his prophet is maybe a Republican? Maybe. 
Is that your prophet? You coward? Why you don't stand and speak against your religion? Why you say I'm a Muslim then? So in one hand, they say we are Muslims and we are proud to be Muslims. But in the other hand, he will not speak against his religion. They ban books. Oh, and he spoke about banning books. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to forget that part. Banning books, brother. A Muslim speaking about banning books. We Muslim don't ban books. No, we don't. Since when you potato don't ban books? Huh? Look what he said. I mean, this religion is literally religion of the hypocrisy, the culture of pronounce and banning books. Look who is talking. Look who is talking. For 1400 years, no Christian can carry a Christian book with him. Not a single book in Saudi Arabia or in Pakistan can dare to speak against Islam or to criticize Islam. Not only that, it happened just yesterday. I showed you the email I received from YouTube. Christian Prince, we have a complaint. We have received legal complaint. From who? from the government of Pakistan, which is his government, this potato government. You know, those people, they don't belong. Even they say, we have citizenship, etc. But all of us, we know that the Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends or protectors, and the one who take them, he is one of them. And if you ask him, are you following the Quran? You say, yes. Which one is more important, to be a rich citizen or to be a Muslim citizen? He will say, Muslim citizen. If you dare to say the truth, we have received a legal complaint from the government, from government entity regarding your content. After review, the following content has been blocked from view on the YouTube countryside listed below. The deception of Allah, Persian translation for free. This potato, he just said, we are going to go against banning books and that, by the way, and the, the school board. The school board, the Muslims, they were shouting in Michigan. That was about banning books too. So look at this coward and look at this religion and look at this hypocrisy. They are number one people in the world who ban website, ban books, ban news, ban you know, ban everything they don't like. And not only they ban books, they ban you. They 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 cut your neck. So he's excited, the Republican, they lost. We did not lose. Yes, we were expecting way better. However, my friend, uh, we have control of the Congress. And maybe we should submit a request to the Congress to ban someone like you from our country. And I'm sure all the Democrats, they will vote for you. But the question here, how many Muslims agree with you about banning books, about supporting gays and lesbian, about supporting abortion? And I am sure you yourself, you don't agree with yourself. You are just a coward, liar, and you seek opportunity. My friend, Mr. Mehdi, you are a potato and you've been smoked. You're a prophet order to kill the LGBT, not only to ban their books. Are you willing to condemn your prophet teaching? 
You're a prophet order to kill the Jews, the Christians. Anyone is not a Muslim. To do, exile them, expel them, do genocide. Are you willing to condemn your prophet? Your prophet, he ordered to beat women. If the women disagree with the husband, chapter 4, verse number 34. And you coward son of Muta speak about culture war. My friends, this is religion of hypocrites. I never saw a hypocrite as this religion. They always seek the one who will give them opportunity. But in their heart, they are laughing deeply at the Democrat. Because they support the Democrat because they believe that the Democrat is the way to conquer. The Democrat, they will destroy the West. They will destroy America. The Democrat, their agenda is in total agreement with Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Why we need to go in war with them? Let the Democrat take over. Those kids in America, they will not get married. They will not have kids by time they will die. They will not even have an army. They will not even have an economy. Let us corrupt the morality of this nation. Republicans are standing against abortion for they have value and ethic. The Muslims, they say they are against killing a human being, innocent human being. But as you see, they support abortion, but not abortion of Muslims, abortion of your wife. This is the truth. And the truth will set you free. Download the video, share it with your friends, and let us get those Abdul busted. And I would like to see the Muslim comment about how much they support the LPT Q, like Q, like community. The Muslim now, they believe that the LGB, they have the right to be a community. Look who is talking. Look who is talking. The Muslims, they are against banning books. Look who is talking. You ban cartoon, you kill people for the sake of cartoon. It's a cartoon. It's not even a book. Cowards. Behead those who insult Islam. And he is talking about the culture war. Do you need more proofs? Doesn't matter who you are. Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Jews, I don't care. Do you really need more proof that Islam is a religion of hypocrisy and devilish and evil? Those people, they say something, they do the opposite. They want you to be a gay, but they will not allow their own citizen to be gays. They don't want you to ban books, but as long as the books is not speaking against Islam, and as long those books destroy your society, as long those books are not taught to their kids. This is how hypocrite they are. A religion of hypocrisy. The Bible says, from their fruits you shall know them. And the fruits of this evil cult is so clear. This guy, he speak as Muslims really believe in the freedom of speech, freedom of authors, freedom of books, freedom of uh, religion, freedom of thinking, freedom of sexuality, freedom for the women, freedom for everybody. But in reality, they kill you if you speak of any of those freedoms in their land. Liars liars will end in fire and you became the joke of everybody because you are a joke for everybody thank you all for being here i hope we were able to make it short but good enough for you to learn and to share download the video share it with your friends and tell me if you are a muslim how much you agree with abortion with lgbt with gay and lesbian, with the freedom of speech, 
would print in my books the deception of Allah all over Pakistan. Be a man and say, yes, we agree. Otherwise, you are a hypocrite if you don't say what you believe. And this is who you are. Thank you all. Christ is Lord. Islam got busted. And you know what? When we say Islam without lies dies, we prove it. Thank you and God bless you.